navigation is one of the key elements of dashboard designing process. It acts as a roadmap to direct the users to various visuals in the dashboard and to walk them through the data story, providing better insights. Easy navigation allows the users to explore and to understand the dashboard in a better way, giving them the confidence in your work. In this tutorial, I am going to share how to use navigation buttons in Tableau to switch between dashboards and to zoom in and zoom out of a particular chart. So without any further delays, let's get started. Welcome back, this is Gurpreet from Dataverse Canvas and in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about how to use navigation buttons in Tableau. Navigation buttons were introduced in Tableau version 2018.3. So with the addition of navigation buttons, you can actually navigate from dashboards seamlessly to another targeted dashboard or a worksheet or story. So as you can see in this dashboard, we have uh, we are currently showing the business dashboard, ease of business dashboard with GDP per capita income and usage per capita and all that information as in this dashboard and if you notice on the top right corner there is a navigation button which will take us to the tourism dashboard so when we click on this it will take us to the tourism dashboard international tourism giving us the income by region income by region and country so that way you can navigate between two dashboards and i can go back to business dashboard by simply clicking on that button and also if you notice here in this correlation to GDP per capita worksheet in this particular dashboard, I have added a maximize button here. So sometimes these charts are really small and we want to see it on a bigger area. So we can simply use navigation button here and I can simply click on that and it will zoom out that particular worksheet. And also this minimize button, if you press on that, it will take you back to the original dashboard. So that way you can actually zoom in and zoom out of a particular worksheet within a dashboard. So how we can use these navigation button in the dashboard. So let's see that. For this I will open a new workbook and on this new workbook for this particular scenario I am using the world indicator dashboard already created by Tableau. So once you click on that something like this will open where we have all the different worksheets at the bottom and we have tourism dashboard and business dashboard and global indicator stories. So let's start with tourism dashboard. On this left hand side you will see all the different objects here and you will see navigation button object which as I mentioned earlier was introduced in Tableau version 2018.3. So we can simply drag this by clicking on it and dragging it onto the worksheet uh, onto the dashboard but if you see currently tiled it selected so if we do that it will be added in a particular area as you see highlighted sections so we don't want it that way right we want to put it wherever we like so and for that we will be using floating object and i will then drag the navigation here on the top and you will see it's here you can move it wherever you want so in this case, I will simply go and click edit button and this window will pop up and it will give you an option to navigate to either a worksheet or a dashboard. So in this case, I'll be using this navigation button to navigate to business dashboard. So I will select business. In button style section, you can use the text button, which will look similar to this. <coughs> Excuse me. You can use uh, image button as well. So in this particular scenario let's use text button and in the title option we will say go to business dashboard and in the borders you can select whichever you want and in this case I will just give a thin line of black color and we will apply it and you will see it will look like this and you can actually make once you select okay you can make the size bigger so that the entire text comes through. And then I will move it at the top right corner. So this will help me to move 
the dashboard navigate from tourism to business dashboard now i want to go to business dashboard and do the same thing that once i reach here i want to navigate back so i will use the same navigation button and i will edit it and i will select tourism and i will enter the title go to tourism dashboard and i will give the thin border as well and apply and click ok and you can expand it as we did earlier and i will move it onto the right top corner as well so now we have done that we can test it so when you are in the desktop mode in order to get the buttons working you have to press alt and click on that and it will take you to the next dashboard and you click on that and it will take you back to the original dashboard so once it's published on the server or on tablet online you don't need to press you can just simply click so if you see here when i click on the drop down you would see navigate so for this the shortcut is alt plus click when you are in the desktop version tablet desktop but once it's published you just simply click and the navigate button will work normally so now another thing like when in the business dashboard so here you see like we have this scatter plot and if let's say we have multiple uh, worksheets here and i will use the tiled object and let's bring technology as well and let's say let's bring economy chart as well and you will see here the charts are really small so sometime when we have a lot of information in the dashboard which normally we shouldn't we should have nice and simple dashboard but sometimes there are scenarios when we have a lot of dashboards in a particular a lot of work uh, worksheets in a particular dashboard and we want to zoom in and zoom out of that particular worksheet to see the information clearly so in this example i will show you how we can zoom in and zoom out of this particular worksheet or yeah in a dashboard so for this i will first create a duplicate dashboard i will right click on the business dashboard and say duplicate and in here i will go to original business dashboard and bring the navigation button as a floating object and we'll go to edit button the way we did before and in this case we want to navigate it to the new dashboard which is business 2 and instead of text button i want to use image button and here i will choose an image uh, in this case i will use maximize so click on that so you can download these images from internet or you can create your own one in adobe photoshop or illustrator and once we do that we simply click ok and, and this button will work and now we need to go to business 2 and if you see here i have selected business 2 navigate to business 2 and when i go to business 2 i don't want all these worksheets so I will remove everything extra which we have it here. So you can basically try to keep the same feel and look of the dashboard. So here you will see we only have scatter plot. And I will remove this button and create a new navigation button. And this navigation button will take me back to business dashboard, original one. And I will use image button here as well. And I will select minimize in this case and select OK. So <clears throat> let's go back to business and let's see here when I click on this one it will take me to this dashboard with the same feel and look so it's kind of zooming in and if I select this one it will bring me back to original dashboard. So that's the way where you can use the navigation button in Tableau to either switch between different dashboards or navigate to different worksheet or also to zoom in and zoom out of a worksheet by creating a similar environment or similar dashboard layout feed and load so it feels like we are zooming in and zooming out of a particular worksheet 
en el Ashburn.